Good morning, sports fans, or good afternoon, depending on where you're at. Um, today we're going to go over the unboxing of my Kier that I ordered from uh, Gigaparts. Um, I had to get a Kier because my straight key here, this is a straight key right here that I use, um, isn't going to be allowed for um, the CW Academy, so I had to get a Kier. And real quick, the one that I just showed you, this one right here, that one is the MFJ553 Deluxe Wood Base Telegraph Straight Key with 3.5 millimeter. And so today we'll do the unboxing and I'll show you how I'm going to set this up with my Yezu FT8, uh, yeah, 817. <laughs> my Yezu FT450. Um, they sent the cables by themselves um, and that goes from a stereo plug to a 3.5 millimeter jack. So let's go ahead and open some things, shall we? Carefully. That way we're not cutting ourselves or the equipment that came in the box. Gigaparts is known for packing their equipment uh, in this stuff. <laughs> So you'll have to bear with me a moment. Um, I don't know where to put this. I got the MFJ564 Deluxe Paddle. Um, now this thing is pretty heavy, so we're gonna do some unboxing here real quick. Um, this is the first time I've opened this, so fingers crossed that I can unbox it properly. It comes with, I'm assuming these are instructions. Yep, it comes with instructions. And a limited 12 month warranty on the back. Woo -woo. Oh, pretty. I shouldn't open it like that. Oh man, I can't quite. <laughs> and there we have it guys. That's what came in the mail today. And it's heavy. This thing, <laughs> and I hit that with my middle finger, not my first finger. This thing is heavy. Um, the paddles are uh, clear plastic. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, the base is solid. It, it's, it's not gonna move around. See, now the difference, here's the difference. This little wooden base versus this chunk of metal here. So, let me set it down. <laughs> but, that's pretty cool. All right guys, so the next portion of this video, I'm gonna show setting it up uh, to my radio and uh, we'll go from there. Okay guys, so here's a better view of the uh, keyer, the uh, MFJ564 Bravo. Um, again, that's a heavy keyer. And then here's the um, the cables that they send you. So that way you can hook this up uh, to your radio. I just wanted to give a closer shot of that. We're going to go ahead and open the uh, cables here. Let's slide this out of the way a little bit. That way I can show you what exactly they consist of. Um, so you have your stereo uh, plug and then you can pull this off. And that goes to 3.5 millimeter. And that's what I'll use with the FT817. Um, and in the instructions here, it shows you which one to hook everything up to. Because if it didn't, I wouldn't have a clue. I mean, I could probably guess it. But um, that's not what I like to do. And so you have three little, three little wires. And they come with, the, uh, come with the ends on them already. And then so you'll take your keyer like so and wherever these ends go I'll hook up and uh, I'm gonna read the instructions real quick to figure out where they go and I'll get back with you guys here in a minute okay all right sports fans so what they didn't tell you <clears throat> was that this big honking screw has to go in there and it's not going so I've got to find a solution I'm probably going to have to bend those in, bend these teeth in, 
just to get these on. So I wanted to show you just what I'm dealing with right now, and I'll update the video as we go along. Alrighty, sports fans, so we are back. And why are we back, and why do those things look different? Well, I had to bust out my soldering gun, which any of you know I hate doing. I hate soldering. Um, I had to take these off. MFJ, you failed. Um, these would not work with these screws right there. I don't know why. Well, I know why. The size didn't fit. So I had to go and solder. Um, I had to go and solder each of these points, as you can see. Each of them are soldered now, and I have it all set up. So um, basically, you take the screws out. Um, for these, you see, I had to cut them. I didn't want to, but I had to, because they would not, they would not fit. And this came from factory, so MFJ, you might need to work on that, because uh, that would not fit with that. It wouldn't fit at all, or at least my hand couldn't get it to go. So now, this next portion of the video is hooking up to the radio and testing it out. Okay, guys. So what we have here is. Uh, the 3.5 millimeter jack. It's gonna go into my Yezu FT450 here. It's so simple, just plugged it in, that's it. Now, I'll show you the settings on the radio that you have to do um, here in a moment, but just to give you an example that this thing is working, and I'm not actually transmitting, that's just through the radio itself. So I'll go over some of the settings here, and I'll show you the um, the keyer and stuff. Again, this is the first time I've ever used a keyer, so bear with me. Okay, guys, so here's the uh, FT450. Uh, I've already got it on. See? That stuff goes everywhere. <laughs> that's part of the packing peanuts, by the way. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, I've already got it on CW. Um, you can go ahead and turn on your keyer. You just push this button. Bam. Without pushing it, you only get the, uh, like it was straight key. But you push your key here. So when you go in your functions here, and you change your CW speed. Now, ooh. Now, you, you click your DSP. And I have it at 10 words a minute. You can go all the way down as four, and this is what it sounds like. Whoops. It's about four words a minute. I don't, or uh, I don't like that. Um, it's too slow. <laughs> so I have it about 10, 10 words per minute on the settings. And that I'm able to, so like if I wanted to send K, and it's that, that was, that, that was pretty cool, huh? Ah, so excited about this thing. So now I'm gonna show you the video below of how I'm doing this so you can see but you have to enable your keyer and you can change your cw uh speeds and stuff again you're doing this for you you do this at your settings don't be like well i have to do it this way. no 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 i'm just giving you examples and i'm showing you the setup so that way you can make it um the way it is and that way you don't go through the same problems i did with these things here mfj failed on that one totally okay guys remember i said i'd show you uh, the settings, I have it, or uh, the settings, show you how it's done. Uh, again, I am very new to this. I'm still learning CW. I've got the CW Academy in January that I'm going to do. But the settings on the radio itself are set to 10 words per minute. And I'm going to do letter K and show you how this works. Now, I, I have a messed up hand, so you'll see that I'll use my, my big finger here uh, for the dashes and my thumbs for the dots. Now, watch. That's it. Now, if I wanted to send M, that's it. If I want to send O, or excuse me, yeah, O. <laughs> if I wanted to send S, that's it. That's so cool. All right, guys. So if you have any comments or questions, please put them in the uh, video description below. Um, and I'll try to do the best I can. And I'm going to sign off with my call sign. Don't judge me. I haven't done this before. So, you guys are getting the live version of it. Ah, see? I'm so used to a straight key because I've been practicing on it. So, we're going to try this again. Yeah, I 
I did it. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching.